Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're studying reciprocal numbers and the shortcut for dividing fractions, which is, it's written over here, to divide by any number, to divide by a fraction or whatever, you can multiply by that number's reciprocal. So, before we study this shortcut, we need to study reciprocal numbers first. Now, what are reciprocal numbers? Two numbers are reciprocal numbers if their product is one. If you multiply them and you get one. For example, two-fifths and five-halves are reciprocal numbers because if you multiply them, you get one. You get two times five, which is ten, and five times two, which is ten. Ten divided by ten equals one. Let's look at some more examples. The reciprocal of two-thirds is what a number? What would it be? It's some number, so that two-thirds times that number equals one. And what we can do is we can flip the fraction. I can write here three over two, because then in the multiplication I get six on top, six on bottom, six-sixths, which equals one. Okay? So three halves was the reciprocal of two-thirds. Then the reciprocal of seven. Think about this multiplication here. Seven times what equals one? You can probably see that seven times one-seventh, right? So over here there's a flipping two. If you think of this as seven over one, then this is one over seven. How about a mixed number? The reciprocal of one and one-fourth. Now over here it helps if you first Write this mixed number as a fraction. It is five-fourths, right? And then five-fourths times four-fifths would equal one, because you get 20 divided by 20. So we get four-fifths here. Again, flipping it works, but you have to first write it as a fraction. Now I want to tie this with a certain meaning for division. In any division problem, if you have whole numbers, for example, you can think of the division problem as fitting the divisor into the dividend. For example, this is a division problem, right? I could even have here 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Let me write it here for clarity, okay? In this division, you can think 4 fits into 20 five times, right? Let's apply that idea now to these fraction divisions. This division is 1 divided by 2 thirds. Okay, it equals 3 halves. How do I know that? I know it because these two, when multiplied, give me 1. 3 halves times 2 thirds equals 1, if I go backwards here, okay? We just studied that. These two are reciprocal numbers, so when you multiply them, you get 1. So in division, 1 divided by a fraction, the answer is it's the reciprocal number. Now thinking of the fitting idea, 2 thirds fits into 1 exactly this many times. Let's see. Here's 2 thirds. Here's 1. Does 2 thirds really fit into 1? 3 halves or 1 and a half times? Let me divide this into thirds, okay? 2 thirds fits right here once, right? And then also half of it fits over here. So one and a half times, right? Let's look at this one. One divided by two sevenths. Again, the answer is seven halves or three and a half because if I multiply these, I get one. These two are reciprocal numbers. But we can also illustrate it visually, thinking of how many times does this fit into this. So I have a picture here, two sevenths, and then this is one whole, or seven sevenths. How many times does this two sevenths fit into here? Once, here, second time, third time, and half a time, right? Three and a half times. Last one, one divided by five fourths. Okay, I know the answer, it's four fifths, because these two are reciprocal numbers. If you multiply them, you get one. In the picture, I think, how many times does 5 fourths fit into 1? 
Now, not even once, of course. Here's my five-fourths. Here's my one. So it won't fit there. But a certain part of it fits there, right? You can think these four little parts would fit there, right? And these four little parts, if there's five parts, then these four little parts are four-fifths of this thing here, right? So four-fifths is the answer. Now that we have studied reciprocal numbers, we can go back to the shortcut for fraction division. And I wrote here to divide by any number, for example, to divide by a fraction, multiply by its reciprocal. This means that we will change every division problem here into a multiplication problem. And this is how it happens. I will write a 7 eighths. It won't change. The division changes into a multiplication. And then this number, I take its reciprocal. So I flip it like that. And now over here, we just multiply normally. 7 times 3 is 21. And this is 16. And then lastly, write it as a mixed number. It's 1 whole and 5 sixteenths. Does it make sense? You can think of the fitting. Two thirds fits into seven eighths. And over here, okay, somewhat over one time. Yes, that makes sense. Nine tenths divided by four. Okay, I do the same. This first fraction does not change. This changes into a multiplication. And now I write the reciprocal of four, which is one fourth. And then we multiply. 9 times 1, and 10 times 4, which is then 9 over 40. Now we will spend just a little time trying to understand why this shortcut works. It is based on those reciprocal numbers and that fitting idea once again. For example, 1 divided by 3 fourths equals 4 thirds. Now how do I know that? You should know it too. These two here are reciprocal numbers, so if you multiply them, you get one. So that's where you get that division, okay? Because division is the opposite operation of multiplication. So then if you have this kind of a division problem, two divided by three fourths, the answer to that must be double or twice the answer to this problem here. Because if three fourths fits into one that many times, then 3 fourths fits into 2 twice that many times, right? Twice times 4 thirds. So now you see here, this division problem here has changed into a multiplication by this number's reciprocal. And then you would multiply 2 times 4 is 8, 8 thirds, which is 2 and 2 thirds. So this was an easier type of division. Let's try another that is more difficult. Four-fifths divided by three-eighths. Okay, we'll think of this fitting. How many times does three-eighths fit into four-fifths? We don't know, but we do know how many times three-eighths fits into one. From the reciprocal numbers, we know that, right? Three-eighths fits into one whole exactly eight over three. 8 thirds times, or that is 2 and 2 thirds, okay? So, 3 eighths fits into 4 fifths, 4 fifths that many times. I hope you can follow that reasoning. 3 eighths fits into 1 that many times, so 3 eighths fits into 4 fifths, 4 fifths that many times, okay? Not quite as many times, but 4 fifths times that many times. And again, if you compare over here to here, division has changed into multiplication and this has changed into its reciprocal. And then you multiply normally, getting 32 over 15, which is 2 and 2 fifteenths. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.